Today I saw this morning, Blend is a brand new movie coming out this week called Arthur the King. Yes, the King. It stars Mark Wahlberg, Simi Liu, Juliet Rylance. Uh, it's a, over the course of 10 days. It's a true story in 435 miles. Michael Light, Michael Light, who's a pro adventure racer, sounds like Janelle, and his dog companion named Doug Arthur. <laughs> It's an incredible true story. You got to go see this. It will definitely bring tears to your eyes, which means we're going to let Janelle go first. Oh, because I'm the girl. I get it. Oh, no. Uh, You're the dog lover. <laughs> I you. am. I am. And that's, yes. It, as a dog lover, everybody knows I am obsessed with my dogs. Um, So this was good. It, it's The dog isn't in, in it as much as one would expect, especially at the beginning. Um. There are a couple parts in it at, as a pet owner, pet lover, dog lover are a little tough to get through, um, especially if you've ex you haven't ex experienced those things before. They're a little they're a little rough to get through, but it is pretty it is pretty standard. It is a you kind of know where it's going. It's it's an hour and 30 minute movie. So, you know, it's going to be fast paced and it's going to get you, from you know, you know, it's going to start off good. There's going to be conflict and there's going to be a, some sort of resolution at the end. So it was good, pretty predictable. But overall, I think they did the casting well when they show the clips at the end with the actual dog and the racer. They do a pretty good job as far as casting goes. So actually, yeah. Bear played himself in the movie. Bear Grylls. Oh, yeah, the dog was in the movie. That's the original dog. Mm, I no the the dog actually was adopted by Simu the U afterwards. Like it's it's Simu's dog. So Bear Grills. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. He plays himself. Yeah, he's a guy. Dog. Okay, he's the yeah. guy. He's, he's not the four legged guy. He's the guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's, 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 he's an human. actual like he's a survivalist. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of survivalists, but, I'll go next because I need to survive this segment because I just <laughs> messed up. So James Thomas is going to talk about Arthur <laughs> the King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and I liked it. I did. I, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I am a dog lover, even though I don't own a dog. But every morning at Starbucks, one of our uh, coffee goers brings his dog every morning. Um, and, and I love petting her. She is great. Uh, it, she's actually our therapy dog. <laughs> dogs are definitely therapy dogs. So the movie I thought was really good. I was a little jealous, Janelle, because yes, you know, I'm trying to work out and get myself in shape and seeing everybody, you know, working out and being in shape was really good. I'm always a fan of Mark Wahlberg because he's always in great shape. And then all these people running and the bicycling and kayaking makes you want to go out there and do something. And it is spring and summer's coming up. Tony. I had so much fun with this movie. Like we said, it's a remarkable true story based on, you know, his his fails and then his attempt reattempts to uh, that adventure racing, which I really didn't know much about until this film. So to start it, it really is more of a sports movie that's it's a story about a comeback following your dreams, but also recognizing the tolls that it takes on everyone. So I like that aspect of it. The dog isn't, even though it's the title of the film, isn't in as much as you think. So I like that part of it. But the casting here is great. You know, Mark Wahlberg really disappears. He doesn't try to be Mark. He really does try to embody the character. Natalie Emmanuel was great. I love seeing Ali Suleiman doing something. I think the last time we really saw him do anything, he was playing a bad guy. So to get him something else was great. And Simu Liu, great comedic timing, really bounced off. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this. I think it's great for the whole family. My kids are a little young, so I didn't take them to see it with me, but I 100% would watch with it at home. But, I mean, if your kids are older than five or six, fun for the whole family without question. And they've been pretty out upfront in the marketing of this. Don't be concerned about the fate of the dog. Right, definitely. So, for me, I'm going to give it between three and a half and a four. That's how I saw it. Janelle? Um, I'd give it a three. It's still pretty, you know, it's pretty standard for this kind of movie. It is it is cute, but, I mean, it's a, it's an okay movie. Tony? I'm going three and a half. I had a lot of fun with it. Like I said, it's it is feel good. It's uplifting. And it, it's something for the whole family. It's something about it just really struck. I don't know what it is, but it's hard to explain, but I enjoyed this one a lot. So we finish up with a three and a half. That's Arthur the King. We'll see you next week on Morning Blend. Thank you.